All right, welcome, galactic friend. We have a um, another little tweak to the shadows. It's a nice fix here. Um, let's illustrate the problem first, though. So this is uh, some old code I've got compiled up here, and you can see there's a blue dot there, uh, right here, just underneath the player there, where the where the um, skybot is casting his shadow, and there's a shadow from that pillar over there. And there's the shadow from the Skybot, and they're definitely conflicting. I've got the camera zoomed in here pretty far, uh, so that you can see that right that that blue dot right around it. Sometimes when the Skybot draws his shadow, uh, it's drawing a lighter. It's drawing over the pillar's shadow a little light splotch, and it shouldn't be. The, uh, the darker shadow from the pillar should be overriding the other one, but it's not. Um, and so let's look at some uh, code and we can illustrate what the heck is actually was, was going on here. Um, let's get this built up while, we're, while I'm talking about this. But basically, what was happening... Um, let's go... Where can we actually verify or show this? Um... Here's, here it is. Uh, basically, the uh, this is it. There's this do tint code. Um, oh, shoot. We should have kept that old. Hold on. Look at the old code. <laughs> Let's go back to this other version here real quick. Um, here in Voxel. Here it is. Preparate. We got a whole bunch of different cast shadow methods, but this is a basically a method that's casting a ray, and then it's doing some checking right here and for the depth buffer. So basically, it's casting a ray as soon as it finds a position in the depth buffer which is around what it's supposed to be finding. Then it's it's basically has found a voxel that it can shade with it with a, one of these cast shadows, right? The reason it's doing this, uh, comparing it to the depth buffer, is because it's actually performing this whole ray casting in two dimensions instead of three. Uh, it makes it a lot faster, basically, to use the two-dimensional ray, but then compare the depth to make sure that it is actually what it's expected to be, right? So, but here's the here's the kicker. This is the part that uh, was messing it all up, was this depth tint. So, let's go look at this depth uh, type here. This depth type... This is, the, this is my depth type for the depth buffer, right? Um, this has 14 bits for the depth. There's a tiebreaker, there's the normals, and there's this tinted variable. This tinted variable was the problem. Um, basically what this did was, um, if depth tinted, every time it tinted a, a voxel at a position, it would increase the depth tinted variable right here. And um, so then it could go down here when it's actually applying the shading, and um, oh no 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 yeah when it when it actually goes and applies the shade there you go it, it increases the depth tint right and then this is basically it can skip all this other code it's doing right here if the depth tint has already been um, used up for that voxel right but the problem with that is that sometimes a pixel for example this blue voxel that we're looking at here. Um, that blue voxel there had uh, is actually getting tinted something like 16 different times. There's a lot of different tints going on right here that actually make this all up. So with only two tints that it could possibly use, it wasn't able to... Um, so it depended on the order in which the shadows were cast, whether it would actually look like it's drawing correctly or not. You can see that sometimes when it's drawing the, the Skybot's shadow, it is actually drawing correctly, and sometimes it's not. So um, that's just because it doesn't have enough there in the depth buffer or in that depth tinted variable to be able to even uh, make a difference. So let's check out dev. And here's the solution. Um, basically what it does now, instead of doing that, it let's go look at the depth type now. We've got the depth type. Now we have an, an 8-bit variable called tint value. So instead of storing the number of times it tints a voxel, it stores the absolute tint value. And let's go ahead and look at uh, how it's actually using that. Here's the, whether it, whether it will tint or not is basically just checking if the tint value in the depth is less than the, the new tint value, right? If it is, then it can, it can actually perform the tint. Uh, but here, let's go to, 
not here, here. Um, now, instead of comparing that to that tinted variable and just like a counter, it's actually using the do tint, which we just talked about. And then right here, when it applies the shadow, it uh, sets the tint value to the absolute value of that shadow amount that it's applying so that it can, um, um, if there's a really dark shadow already there, it'll keep that dark shadow. If there is, um, if there's a really light shadow there and we're now drawing a darker shadow, then it goes ahead and allows the darker shadow. So there you have it. It's really, really pretty simple. Um, and uh, now we have these nice shadows. Look at that. We'll slow down time just a little bit. Oh, we don't have the blue voxel. We can, we can add that blue voxel, but basically you get the point, right? Right about here where the player's standing right now, or, you know, right now there was the blue voxel and we can see now that the Skybot's shadow is really nice and accurate. It's drawing the right shadow, the darker shadow. It's keeping that darker, those darker shadow shaded voxels. So, uh, the next thing on my list to do, uh, this is like, I've been, I've been working way too much on voxels and shadows and stuff like that. And I've really got to get working on gameplay, but there's one last thing I've got to fix. I know this is going to be an easy one, uh, but somehow the normals got a little bit messed up or something. And we've got this dark shadow here on the side of this pillar and not at all angles. So I'm sure I'm, I'm, I almost... I'm certain I know where in the code this is. This is something pretty simple. It might even be simple as uh, using a negative rotation versus a positive rotation um, of normals or something like that. But basically, I gotta fix this and then I am done with all these different shadow things and I can finally work on gameplay. Focus on turning on all the other players again, working on ghost swords and bombs and all the fun stuff that's gonna make this game uh, have its, its fun moments. So there you have it. Thanks for watching this video and I hope you uh, learned something and uh, got some value out of this. Check you later.